Today's video is going to be about it don't phase me. So do some things phase you that shouldn't? Like for an example, people talking about you at work, um, at the mall maybe, wherever you at on social media. Social media people, you know, they're like, oh, let me type something about you. <laughs> and you know, and you read it and you are phased. Well, some things shouldn't phase you, you know? So I want to give you this knowledge to try not to let it phase you. And then I said at the end, why not to? So other things people may be phased by, let's say. Let's say, you know, when you're driving and someone cuts in front of you and they want to let you know they cut in front of you, right? And you just looking like, idiot, like I don't care, <laughs> you know? But if they care to let you know that you know, they cut you off, but you don't care. You just chilling. You just driving. You chilling. So, some other things. But, you know, just keep your same attitude. Or, if you go somewhere and you you know how you speak to somebody, right? And they just be like, give you this, that fake smile or fake wave. And you like, I may be the only person today to make your day and speak to you and acknowledge you. And you want to be fake and not speak. So, some things like that will phase people. But it don't phase me. Get it? So, don't let it phase you. Other things that may phase you. They say, oh, this is a good one right here. I got to put this one on here. Someone go, if someone goes out of their way to belittle you or make you feel bad. So, you heard the saying, hurt people, hurt people. That is true, because some people have been hurt in the past, and, you know, belittling people is something they do to make their day. But what you can do is, I mean, you can get them straight if you want to, you know, let them know. Or you can not acknowledge them and um, give them no reaction. And then hopefully they'll walk away and get out of your face. <laughs> and then they'll be like, oh, I belittled this person, and they not even giving me the time of day. Yep, yep. So basically what I'm saying is, it don't phase me means, don't let it phase you. Why are we caught up in letting certain things phase us that we're getting distracted from what we're supposed to be doing? That's what some people do. Now life is short. Um, do you, do you, life is short. Do you stay focused on your passions, your goals, your family? Being a positive influence on whether it's you or someone else. Because what you don't want to do is get caught up in being phased on the things somebody is saying or doing. And you're not living your life and being happy. Because, you know, you let letting every little thing get to you. Now, it gets to us. I mean, we're hearing it's going to get to us. But don't let it stay with us. <laughs> you know, try to let it go. So, that's what I mean when I say don't be phased. I just thought of this because I'm like, um, you know, someone may be phased by certain things that's going on. And I want to encourage you to, you know, try not to be. So, as I always say, um, cute talent. Don't forget to watch other videos of mine. You can also hit that subscribe button if you like. And I will appreciate it. So, thank you.